amigos, ¿cómo están? Yo estoy bien. Today we're going to start learning how to order different things. And so today we will be focusing on ordering drinks. Of course, in Spanish. Welcome to Teacher Catalina, my channel, where you learn Spanish with a native speaker, a certified Spanish teacher with more than 16 years of teaching experience. I am so thirsty. Tengo sed. So are you ready to go ahead and learn how to order some drinks? Vamos! Oh, wait, wait, wait! If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button and smash that like button. Okay, guys, so the first thing we have to do is we have to learn to figure out what is the server going to ask us or what we will say to somebody at a food cart. So we need to know that vocabulary first, that question and answer, and then we can learn the names of the drinks. ¿Listos? Perfecto. If you are at a restaurant setting, after your server has greeted you, the next question most likely is going to be, what would you like to drink? So let's look at the different ways that your server could ask you that. Muy bien. Okay, one of the common ways would be, ¿Qué van a tomar? ¿Qué van a tomar? What are you guys going to drink? Most likely because you're at a restaurant with a group of people. ¿Qué van a tomar? Yes, you said it right. Try again. ¿Qué van a tomar? Muy bien. Now, let's imagine that you may be at a restaurant by yourself or at a cafe. So instead of a group of people, it's only you. The server can choose to be informal or the server can choose to be formal. So let's look at both ways. Informal. The server would say, ¿Qué vas a tomar? ¿Qué vas a tomar? You try it. Excellent. Now, if the server is being formal, he or she would say, ¿Qué va a tomar? ¿Qué va a tomar? And there you have a couple of variations of different things that could happen. Depending where you're at, depending on the country, they may not use the verb tomar. Tomar can mean to drink or to take, but in some countries they may use a different verb. So you should be aware of that. The other verb would be beber, beber, which means to drink too. So instead of what we have on the board right now, they could just switch the verb and they could say, ¿Qué van a beber? ¿Qué van a beber? Now, our informal question, ¿Qué vas a beber? And our formal question, ¿Qué va a beber? Did you see how we just changed tomar for beber? And that's all we did? There you go. So make sure that you remember the verb tomar and beber can both use for when we're talking about drinking something. Muy bien. So now that you understood your server question and you're ready to tell him or her what you want, you need to be able to answer that and start that sentence in Spanish. So let's start with the beginning of the sentence, kind of when you would say, I want or I would like. Now, I know that in English saying, I want a Coke or I want a juice may sound a little bit too harsh, but in Spanish, it's totally okay to say that. However, I'm going to show you two different ways. Are those the only two ways? No, there's plenty of other ways to ask for something. But these are going to be the easiest ones for you to remember right now. Bien? Okay, let's go over them. The first one would be quiero. Quiero means I want. Quiero. And then you would say whatever drink you want. Or you could say me gustaría. Me gustaría. I would like. Quiero. Very good. Me gustaría. Excellent job. Muy bien. So now we can go ahead and talk about the vocabulary to learn the different types of drinks that you may want to order so that then you can put that sentence together and order with confidence. And don't worry, we're going to go ahead and put some examples together so you and I can practice. We have un refresco. Un refresco. Some countries also would call it una gaseosa, una gaseosa. Now that's the general term for a soda, but 
But if you wanted to be specific, you would just say the name of the soda. You would say, quiero una Coca-Cola. Quiero una Pepsi, por favor. Quiero una Sprite. So remember though, the general term is refresco, un refresco, or una gaseosa. And then you can get specific, as specific as you want or need. In most Spanish-speaking countries, we love to drink natural fruit juices. So that's gonna be something that's gonna show up in a lot of menus. And don't worry, at a later time, we will focus on all of the fruits, but I wanna get you going with a few of the most common ones. So we would say, un jugo de, and then the fruit. In this case, let's say, un jugo de naranja, an orange juice. Un jugo de naranja. Muy bien. Un jugo de manzana. Un jugo de manzana. See how we just changed the fruit? That's the pattern. Anytime you want to talk about a juice, you would say jugo de, followed by the name of the fruit. We also love to drink café. Un café. And that's going to be probably very common after any meal. You kind of drink un café and you chit-chat a little bit more. Un café. Now, I don't know about you, but I like my café con leche. Un café con leche. You could also say, if you want to specify, you could say un café negro or un café. But for me, un café con leche. Maybe you're in the mood for un té. Un té. A tea. Un té. If you want to be specific and you want to say you want a hot tea, you would say un té caliente. However, if you want iced tea, you would say un té helado. Un té helado. If you are an adult or you're at a restaurant with your parents and maybe you want to order some wine for them, you would say un vino. Un vino. The same thing would go for una cerveza. Una cerveza. If you want to order milk, a glass of milk, you would say un vaso de leche. Un vaso de leche glass of milk. The same thing will happen for water. Un vaso de agua. Un vaso de agua. How about something really yummy? Un chocolate caliente. Un chocolate caliente. Especially if you're at a place that it may be chilly. Un chocolate caliente, por favor. Muy bien. I know we've talked about natural juices. However, if you want to be a little specific, there's one that you probably want to know. Una limonada. Una limonada. A lemonade. That's a lot to learn, but I know you're going to do great. So let's take a quick little break and allow you to smash that like button if you've enjoyed this so far. Gracias. All right, I'm super excited. We can go ahead and put all of that knowledge that we just gained all together so that you know how to answer the question, que van a tomar or que van a beber, and all of the other variations. And you can answer confidently with quiero or me gustaría, followed by all of those vocab words that we just learned. So let's see a few examples. ¿Listos? Okay, let's do it. Server says, ¿Qué van a tomar? And it's my turn to answer. So I would say, Quiero una limonada, por favor. Quiero una limonada, por favor. Now remember, por favor, please. Server asks, ¿Qué vas a tomar? Or, ¿Qué vas a beber? And I'm thinking, I'm gonna say, hmm, Me gustaría un chocolate caliente, por favor. Me gustaría un chocolate caliente, por favor. Server asks, ¿Qué va a beber? And I want to say, mm, Quiero un vaso de agua, por favor. Quiero un vaso de agua, por favor. Again, your server may ask the whole group, ¿Qué van a tomar? But 
then he or she goes one by one. My turn would be to say, hmm, quiero un café con leche, por favor. Quiero un café con leche, por favor. You know what I love to drink when I go to South America? Jugo de maracuyá. Or when I was in Venezuela, instead of maracuyá, they call it parchita. Jugo de maracuyá or jugo de parchita. That's passion fruit juice. I love it. And I love it when they add milk to it. So let's see how I would go if I wanted to order a passion fruit juice on milk. Basically kind of like a smoothie. Server says, ¿Qué va a tomar? Or ¿Qué va a beber? And I would say, Quiero un jugo de maracuyá en leche. Quiero un jugo de maracuyá en leche. A passion fruit in milk. That's basically what it translates into. Un jugo de maracuyá en leche. And if I was in Venezuela, I would say, Quiero un jugo de parchita en leche. And again, this may work even if you're in the United States and you go to a Colombian restaurant or a Venezuelan restaurant. My husband and I go around town all the time and I always order un jugo de maracuyá en leche. We learned a lot today and I'm so proud of you because now you can answer when the server asks you what would you like to drink and you can confidently say yo quiero or quiero and me gustaría and then followed by all sorts of drinks that we kind of learned today together. I love if you could leave me a comment telling me how would you order a drink? Whether you have done it at a local Hispanic restaurant or if you have traveled to a Spanish speaking country. What kind of drink would you order and how would you order it? Leave me a complete sentence. I love to see how much you're learning. And if you're still here, go ahead and smash that like button and click that subscribe button so that you and I can keep learning Spanish together. Next time, we will be learning how to order food. Yummy, yummy food. Muchas gracias por estar conmigo hoy and I will see you next time. Adios. For real guys, if you haven't hit that like button, help me out. It really helps my channel and it helps me continue to make more videos for you. Ciao.